So these right here is the needles that we've just set up. These are the needles there on the super slim. So these super slim is to help them be able to counter or the counter lever weight. Otherwise the needles themselves are too too short. They're 19 um, 1900. They can't go all the way out there. You only allow 600, which is from there to over there, the gap distance. So this super slim help take the rest of the load and plus they're gonna build on top of these uh, you need as much um, uh, rigidity and uh, super slim to be able to hold that weight and the needles themselves they're too flimsy for that job so they can't do the job so we got the jacks here those are jacks front jacks you can use them at the back as well but um yeah th these ones here they wind up just to get your right height give you the right height and then you got your plates here which are your L bracket plates and then you got your your nuts and washer you gotta use the nuts and washer and this is your uh, joiner this joins these two together these rods are joined together this is your castings and of course you gotta put your caps up on top so anyway how you install this is you obviously have to lift this needle two people because it's about uh, about 40, 40 kilos, 40 to 50 kilos right here. One of these needles. So it's a two-man lift or three-man lift, depending on how strong you are. But I recommend three people just to be on the safe side. So you got your flipper, which we your sleeve. This is called the sleeve right here. Um, you can see it up to two ton, uh, two ton, but that bolt is rated for eight ton. So. So eight ton. That one is 4.6. That's 4.6 ton. That one. So that's your sleeve there. That'll help divide the uh, break up the load. Make give it make it so solid when it sits on there. And um, your spacing is 100. And um, just to be able to get all, all our platforms, they'll be sitting on the right, um, on the same, on the same. Um, the same point would be like a hundred and all you have to do is when you level this when you level these needles in order to get your platforms to work and the screens to be level you have to make sure that you have these on um a hundred onto your pin has to be set to a hundred so you have to run you can, you can see the variation how that steps down there and this comes back up here so you use your level to transfer that height back to the other side and then you just measure and then you jack this side up to get to height depending on how um it's going now the reason why we're doing this over here is as you notice we have a gap in the middle here this gap in the middle helps us um if we need to push this screen out because sometimes when you take the rakers off the the rakers are down there this thing here it's called a raker helps plumb the screen to bring it in if we take that off the screen the screen the screen might kick back or might kick back out it might kick back in or kick back out so you never know which way it's gonna go but we always try to get the measurements pretty much the same on the bottom but if it doesn't then we have to um, use a sledgehammer and so this gap here is very essential because if that was sitting on top of that it will be hard for you to be able to hit that other screen if you need to, to hit it out. This one here it will be virtually like impossible or it will be really hard. Let's just say it will be impossible because it will be sitting on top of each other. So you can't do that. That's why we have this gap here. This one here is like about um, 20 mil. 10 mil, 20 mil. And here because you got the sleeve joining on to here where the joiner is you have to use either use a packer this is a timber is a packer so it just takes the weight and that helps push that back down so you it just helps it be more solid otherwise the sleeve will be in the way oh, sorry the joiner will be in the way I don't know if you can see that that one there so if, ready, if I didn't put that timber there you won't have any gap here so you won't have that um, tension. You need to have that tension on it, the pressure. 
and you can see the castings already been casted into the concrete they put it in they put them in before they pour the concrete and that's the end result right there so yeah um, that's all we can put in for now because of the you have to wait for the precast it's too windy over here we've been winded off as you can see um, the crane is not working so we're just about to leave city looking good but it's windy so everyone's just knocking off now so yeah so yeah I thought I'll show you that pretty quick before I go and now uh, yeah I'll do another tutorial show you how to put them in actually and show you about the rakes and all that kind of stuff how you put them in and all that so yeah there's your your washers washers and nuts we put them in that bucket that's what they look like and then we got all our other buckets we got different types of buckets here these all buckets there get your 5 mil, get your 10 mil all in there alright so there you go, these are your W's I was talking to you about, the flaps those two flaps and those are your W's to go in between to cover those holes in the middle and uh, yeah, so and we use the timber sometimes to go cross over. If the level is not long enough, you can put that on top and just level it. So yeah, we're gonna pack a wave here. We're gonna go tomorrow. We're gonna attack all this. And uh, yeah, that's it. So don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And uh, hey, Mikey, let's go home, eh? That's the moose. We had a good run, eh, Mikey? <laughs> It's an attack, it's an attack. Alrighty, from Utopia here. We're out of here. Hasta la vista. Love you. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Mwah. See you later. Pew!